Tonight, the superintendent of Indianapolis Public Schools is sharing her vision for the district's future. Yeah, in her annual address, we expect to hear about the struggles, the achievements, and what's next for IPS students. So tonight, our Angelica Robinson is live at Broad Ripple Middle School, and this is an event that kicks off in just about an hour from now. What can we expect, Angelica? Well, it's no secret that Indianapolis public schools, like many schools, school districts across the country, have faced some challenges. We are expecting that the superintendent is going to address some of those challenges and what she hopes to be solutions. Now, some of the, the questions that we may have is about the future of the Rebuilding Stronger plan. Um, that plan so far, the voters have only uh, voted, I'm sorry, only half of the money uh, for that plan has been approved by, by voters. So, and the district is also in a fight with the Indiana State's Attorney General over what's called a $1 law. So we have questions about that. And lastly, the I Learn scores is a, a point of concern. While well, it has dropped only two per over, it has dropped two percent. Now there are some wins that the superintendent is going to address today for the district, according to the superintendent. Uh, student performance in, in reading and math uh, is now at or above the level it was since before the pandemic. She says IPS is the only district in Marion County that can say that. Among the state's larger districts, IPS is number one in growth in those subjects over the last four years and those subjects being, again, math and science. Uh, reading and math, I'm sorry. And she says this is a nationally significant achievement. So this is going to start here tonight at 7. We will be here for that, and we will have a full recap tonight at 11. For now, reporting live at Broad Ripple Middle School, Angelica Robinson, 13 News.